Yo, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing right now. I just thought I'd hop on here and share with you how I overcame my stutter because I know, I know how painful it is. I'm aware of how painful it is to stutter. I'm aware how painful it is to have something to say, but hold it back. I'm aware of how painful it is to actually shift into a different version of yourself that has the, the humor gets diluted, your personality gets diluted, you turn into a little bit of a people pleaser, you start to want to prove yourself everywhere you go. I know that version of you that stutters a lot, that is in fight or flight mode, and it's not really you. I lived that way for the majority of my life. It made social interactions trash. It made working at and the lunch table trash, made job interviews trash, made phone calls horrible. So there was not, there's nothing that would make me happier than knowing I'm changing lives out there because I share my story and because I'm helping people overcome their stutter just like I did because before I begin, like, no, let's just begin right now. I'll, I'll scoop in, I'll scoop into this. First of all, if you don't know who I am, you don't know what my name is. My name's Chase Gillis and I'm on the mission right now to help everybody who stutters overcome their stutter the authentic way. Not with speech techniques, not with fluency devices, not with avoidance, the authentic way, becoming the most authentic version of yourself, developing your character, developing your self-esteem, developing your confidence, developing your carefreeness, so you're able to walk into any interaction, feel like you belong, and speak the same way you would when you're by yourself. That is the goal. All right, so let's, let's, hop, right, let's hop right into it. I, I always say from age five to 14 or 13, I had a stutter, but it wasn't that severe, all right? It didn't really hold, hold me back that much. It was when I hit age 13, I think all my insecurities caught up to me. All my ways I'm inferior, talking to people, socializing, making friends, all of it, I just started to compare myself to everybody and I started to look at everybody else's interaction and see, oh my God, he can just walk up to that girl and speak to her fine. She laughs at his jokes. I try to do that, it's always awkward. Why is it like that? It must be because of my stutter. And my stutter from age 13 just started to snowball and snowball and snowball to a severe state where it wouldn't be severe always. Sometimes it would be basically fluent. But those times that really mattered, those times of meeting new people or in a job interview or talking when more than two people are around. Even talking when one person is around, if I valued them highly, I would just get caught and it would be severe. It, 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 it would sound like that. I'd be pushing and pushing and pushing and just my body would be fully tense. And I went on a rampage, all right? I went on a rampage and I looked up every video on YouTube on how to overcome your stutter. I, I swear to God, I cleared out YouTube. I cleared out the search engine on YouTube because I watched every video about, stutter, about stuttering on there. Every night I would literally go to the, fil to the filter part where you look at the videos watched, you filter it, to upload it today and I'd watch those videos if there was because that's all I needed that's all I thought I needed I thought I just needed to watch that one YouTube video and my life would be perfect I thought once I watched that new one that new one that someone posted maybe it's me right now maybe maybe you're you're in my shoes and you had that same feeling just before you clicked on this video you're like this is the one this is the one. 
I need to watch, everything will change. I, I lived in that way for years, years. And it got to a point where I was just crying in my bed every night thinking, no, and nothing's changing. My stutter's only getting worse. With each YouTube video, which, with, with each speech technique I was trying to implement, my speech was just getting worse and worse and worse. So I gave up on that. I legitimately said, fuck it. I'm not gonna look up how to overcome stuttering anymore. I'm going to address something else in my life that I'm super inferior at. And at that time, I think I was 16, 16, 17, I started addressing girls, game, pickup. I started learning all the different ways to become the most attractive version of yourself. I went down that rabbit hole like eight hours a day watching YouTube videos, RSD, um, Real Social Dynamics, if you don't know who that was, Jason Capital, back when he was into dating, was a, a, big, a big one for me. And so much of it was poison, all right? I'm not saying it's beneficial for you to go down that rabbit hole because oftentimes it fucks with your brain. So much of it was poison and I had to unlearn so much what I learned from that type of genre. But something that was the best thing that I learned that impacted my life and allowed me to overcome my stutter was one characteristic I had to develop inside of myself. This is the one, the one characteristic I developed inside of myself that started to snowball effect, uh, upward momentum, gaining confidence over and over and over in each interaction. I was becoming more me, more authentic, saying things I wanted to say with no tension. Now, one thing I had to do, the one thing I had to develop was called carefreeness. That was the main thing because the dating coaches were saying, Chase, if you want to become the most attractive version of yourself, you must be outcome independent. You must be outcome independent. Your self-worth must not fluctuate if this girl likes you and if that girl doesn't. You should feel the same because you are a boss yourself and solidify that in. So no matter what outcome happens, you have abundance, you are fine. <sighs> and that changed my life. That changed my life because I started working on my carefreeness. They gave me exercises to, to do to start becoming more carefree, to start desensitizing myself to the judgments of, of, of others. And that's when I realized, when I started doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks, I started to realize my speech was not just significantly better, but I was going through days without stuttering one time from severity. Now, from that point where I would hit days when I was 18 and I wanted to stutter one time, I've I had many ups and downs, many relapses since then. All right, so I didn't have it figured out. But that's when I proved to my brain that your speech problem is not a speech problem. We already know how to speak. I did not need a speech technique. I didn't. Because we can speak fine when we're by ourselves. We can speak fine when we're talking to a dog or a cat. Why do we switch into a different version of ourselves when we are speaking to a human being, all right? And that thing I had to address with dating, which is the care, the carefreeness, is the same thing that unlocked that safety inside of me that allowed me to bring the same me when I'm by myself to other people. Because really what it is, is I overvalued the judgments of other people extremely highly, way too much. And what I learned is the more value you place in another person's judgments of you, the more you're gonna stutter. Because the more value you place in someone's judgments of you, that means the less power you have to dictate your self-worth. And if you have less power to dictate your self-worth and your self-worth depends on if this person likes you or not, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna prove yourself, you're gonna please the other person, you're gonna, pre you're gonna pretend and you're gonna perfect. 
I call these the four P's. We shift into a proving, pleasing, pre pretending, and perfecting mode that is extremely inauthentic to us. And anytime we're acting out of, out of authenticity, anytime we're acting to not get hurt, to not get judged, our body is full of tension. We do not feel safe. And it's that feeling of not being safe that makes us stutter because when we're not safe, we're clenched up. We feel like we, we have to do something and be someone in this interaction. And because of that, we stutter. Because of that, we get filled with tension. So all my journey was learning how can I feel safe expressing my true self in these interactions where normally I wouldn't feel safe at the lunch table talking to someone I highly value at a job in at a job interview my journey be became that and I started working on that and I started feeling safe I started actually starting to feel safe in these environments and this is something that has not stopped since age 18 it's just kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going i'm about to turn 23 now and i, I would say from 18 to 20 was my hardest years 20 to 23 has been my easiest years of my life <laughs> it's been it's night and day difference of what it's like to feel like you belong in a group conversation. It's a night and day, it's a night and day difference of what it feels like to not be constantly 95% of the time thinking about your stutter, thinking about trying not to stutter and just being able to be in the interaction present. Just you in the interaction, not, not trying to avoid judgment, not trying to prove yourself, not trying not to get hurt, but just showing your true self and feeling safe in doing so. That's when the true you comes out. And that's when the true, that's when true fulfillment is here. Because a lot of people will go down a route where they focus on a speech technique and they have to talk three words per breath and they have to, continued to talk like this and now i know i'm exaggerating it but not even like some some people do speak like that and to to each their own but i've had countless and countless and countless of people i work with who are masters at that speech technique but still still feel pain because they cannot be spontaneous still still feel pain because they cannot talk off the cuff they have to be scripted in everything they do and it doesn't allow them to show their true character. And I get it, that's fucking painful. And that's the same thing stuttering, the biggest pain in stuttering is, is it dilutes your character and it makes you present yourself as someone that you're not, as a diluted version of yourself. And I know that fucking hurts. I know that fucking hurts. So that's a little bit of my background. That's what I went through and that's when I realized I did not need a speech technique continuing to push myself and leave my comfort zone and starting to find ways to feel safe in environments. Now, obviously I cannot, <laughs> I cannot tell you every action I took. I just gave you the overview. So you know, you don't have to go through a speech technique route. So you, you know, you don't have to have an ear device because I had a severe on and off stutter too. Two, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I did have it bad. And it was not fun. And if I can do it, so can you. You just have to believe you can. You just have to take that leap, okay? And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If this is something that resonated with you, if you're like, damn, Chase speaks a lot of truth, it'd be awesome to actually get coached by him. It'd be awesome to actually learn from him every single day. Then right now I'm offering free one-on-one -on -one consultation calls where you get to hop on a call with me. We get to discuss your situation, see where you're at, see your sticking points to see if I would be of, be of help for you to see if we would be able to work together to actually get you to express your true self, not a version of yourself, but the true you that is in there that is fucking dying to come out. If that sounds interesting to you, and you're like, yeah, 
I, I think I want to get coached by him and you just want to learn some more details about the program and how I coach people, then click that closest link down below in the description, book your free one-on-one -on -one call and we can chat, me and you, just me and you, we, we, we can chat, all right? I hope that was inspiring, I hope that was mind-blowing and um, there's thunder outside and I love you, all right?